So with CES literally around the corner, we have so many questions about what to buy, what not to buy, should I wait or shouldn't I wait? And I'll just come out and say it right now. Don't wait for CES 2023. There is a champion right now that I can promise you they will not be able to do anything more surprising than that, and that is Quantum.OLED, particularly the Samsung S95B. No surprise there, I've been championing this being the best TV, and I'm gonna go a step further and say it is the king of all TVs right now. I have tested almost everything of noteworthiness with both Kalman software, with both using relatives and just real world content and seeing how people feel about it and no one has ever had more of a surprise, a shock and awe with the vibrancy, the brightness that it gives off than with the Samsung S95B. The reactions all around are just incredible. Now come CES 2023, they're gonna try to sell you on, well, simply put, gimmicks and what they have coming next. But the truth be told, there really is not a next because we've kind of reached a point of diminishing returns. If we're being real, TVs are not really going to evolve so much next year than what they have this year. Simply put, Quantum.OLED will probably be continued to be sold. They're gonna build upon that, but it's not gonna be new technology. Enter in the fact that the Samsung S95B is seeing all kinds of price cuts coming in line with what we see from the C2, which does not have quantum dots. Now it's just all kinds of competitive. You have gaming features like you wouldn't believe. And frankly, this TV just performs really well and against everything. And I mean everything. It's been slaying the G2, slaying the Samsung QLED series televisions. I mean, there isn't a television you can name right now on the market that this TV isn't beating and spanking. And the best part of all of this, they're going in a very different direction than what Sony goes in. Sony basically is like, hey, listen, you're gonna pay me a lot of money and probably gonna end up paying for every single letter in my name. Samsung's not like that. They're like, you know what? We'll give it to you. We'll give it to you at a fair price. And this is huge because again, in the beginning, we thought this was going to be like six grand, 8K, whatever it was. And it's nowhere close to that. Instead, you can pick it up for like 1500 bucks. Like that is next to nothing compared to what we were expecting. And so going into CS 2023, yes, there's going to be new technologies. Yes, there might be adjustments here and there, some new gimmicky features like, oh, we've cleaned up noise reduction. We've added in the Ultra Omega Processor Plus. But the truth is these are diminishing returns because once you get to 4K resolution, you're at 4K resolution and there's very little you can do to change 4K and the aspect that it provides from a beneficial standpoint. Now, you can do things like add better contrast and things like that, but let's be real here. The way that the narrative have gone or has gone in the AV community is like, we want purist based TVs. We hate soap opera effect. We hate any kind of freedom or choice being made behind consumers having the ability to make colorful pictures. They, they don't like anything like that. They want lifeless, dull, neutered, and washed out. So you can expect whatever they come out with the CES 2023 is going to kind of regurgitate a lot of the things that get them critiqued by those same purists. And to call them purists is a joke at this point. There is nothing more pure than seeing life like color in your content instead of washing everything out because that's what a computer tells you to do because of industry standards that have not been updated for SDR since you were probably a child. That's how bad it is. And I'm sitting here like at this weird little purgatory point, right? Where I'm like, the market, yes, has a lot of options. We're seeing more budget companies come out, but we also are seeing a lot more people favor QD OLED. I mean, we've got Philips jumping in on it, and I think, honestly speaking, more and more are gonna follow suit. They're gonna be stubborn at first, and honestly, we probably won't see a big desire for QD OLED from all the main players like Sony and LG until maybe 2024, where it's just not deniable anymore that this really is the next leap in picture quality. And I'm telling you it early, before they even start with the CES promotions, before they start inviting out the digital trends and the RTings and the HDTV tests to go to CES and to do the whole hop snobbing and, hey, you guys wanna check out this new latest and greatest. Before that even starts, I'm telling you right now, just buy the Samsung S95B. The price is good, it's next level, uh, you know, picture quality that I guarantee you they're not going to be able to beat. There, there's no quantifiable way they're going to be able to go from Samsung S95B quantum.OLED level to like, oh my God, we've reached an even higher plateau. It just does not happen like that. Now, if I'm wrong, I would be really shocked. I think it would take something like maybe 12-bit 
televisions to be announced, but I mean, really, the odds of that happening are slim to none since they're still sitting here clinging to the old chip shortage excuse as to why we don't get basic things. So honestly speaking, when it's all said and done, I genuinely believe if you want the best and it doesn't matter what your income level is, you could be a multi-millionaire or you could be somebody on your last five cents. If you want quality, get the Samsung S95B. It is the king of every TV on the market, period. No matter how many lies you watch on all these other channels telling you that it's not accurate and I've measured it and it's got a Delta error of nine in filmmaker mode, saw that video, that was bullshit. I mean, it, it's there's so much damage control around how really good Samsung is doing. And I don't know if this is because Sony pays the best and they are paying these people to say that the Samsung is not as good as it is. I really don't care. For me, I'm gonna level with you because you're a real person. I've got the experience. I've got the know-how to be able to cut through all that crap and tell you straight up, dude, do it, bro, do it before you regret it. Because I tell you right now, TVs only have a year shelf life. After this year, all the S95Bs are gonna be decommissioned. They're gonna be discontinued and never sold again. So you're really gonna be sitting here at a disadvantage because now you're gonna want a good quantum.oled and then they're gonna start charging stupid prices because now they know people like it. So don't get yourself in that like little loophole of like, hey, we can charge more because we know people are interested. Let me be very clear. The S95B was their market test to see how people would respond. And now that people are responding favorably, you better believe in the next coming years it's gonna be very aggressive and prices might just increase even more. So that being said, I can't say it anymore. It is the king of all TVs. It is the Samsung S95B for the year end. This is it. There is no higher summit. There is no mountain higher you can climb. Not micro LED, not mini LED. There is nothing right now, today, on this consumer market that will beat the Samsung S95B. And that is as honest as anyone is going to tell you. And it's not going to cost you a whole lot of money. That being said, thanks for watching the number one brand in honesty. And until the next video, I'll see you guys later.